Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on differences between class and interface in Java programming. Both class and interfaces are the most important concepts in Java programming while you are developing any application. Okay, in this video we have to concentrate on what are the main differences between class and interface that can be shown in the table. Okay, so now the first difference in class is suppose we want to create a class for that one we have to use a keyword called class. Okay, that means a class keyword is used to create a class. Next, whereas in the case of interface, suppose we want to create an interface, for that purpose we have to use a keyword called interface. Okay, next, second difference. Uh, in the second difference, we have to discuss about the definition of a class and the definition of a interface. First of all, what is the definition of a class? A class is a collection of data members and methods where the data members are also called as variables, or a fields, or a attributes, or a properties. Okay, so these are the other names for data members. Next one, whereas the methods are also called as adversities for our behaviors. Okay, now, the, now whereas in the case of interface, an interface is a collection of public static final data members and public abstract methods. Okay, by default all the data members of an interface is public static final. Okay, what is public? It can be accessed by universally. Okay, from anywhere we have to access the data members. For that one we have to use public. Next one is static. So in the case of static, one time memory allocation can be done by using the keyword called static. Okay. Final means whenever before the data member final keyword is used, it cannot be modified by anyone. Only it only. Okay. So next one, public abstract methods. Okay. By default, all the methods of an interface uh, is public abstract. By default, all the methods of an interface is ab public abstract methods. So this is the definition of an interface. An interface is a collection of public static final data members and public abstract methods. Okay, now third point so syntax of class. Okay, first the keyword class is used. Next one, this is the class name. Class name is the valid variable name. Okay, so before the class name, we are using the keyword called class. Okay, already we have discussed it. To create a class, we have to use a keyword called class keyword. Okay, so after that, opening brace in that one data members and programmer defined methods. Okay. After that closing brace. Okay. So this is the syntax we have to follow to create a class. Okay. So we are already discussing it. The data members of a class are also called as variables or are attributes or are fields or are properties. Next Programmer defined methods are also called as accessories for a behaviors. Okay, now the syntax of an interface. So, interface keyword first before the interface name. After that, we 
we have to write the interface name. Interface name is a valid variable name. After that, opening brace. So, variable declaration and initialization. So, variable declaration means the data members of an interface. Whatever the data members we are used in the interface, so that data members can be declared in this place and also initialize the data members. So, variable declaration and initialization means the data members of an interface that can be declared in this position and also the data members of an interface must be initialized. So, otherwise we can get the compile time error. Okay. All the data members of an interface can be declared and initialized. Otherwise, we get the compile time error. Okay. Next one is method declaration. So, method declaration means by default, all the methods of an interface contains only abstract methods. So, abstract methods are undefined methods. Abstract methods are undefined methods. Okay. By default, all the methods of an interface are uh, abstract methods. Okay. That abstract methods can be accessed anywhere by using the keyword called as public. Hence, we can say that public abstract methods we are uh, declared in this position. Okay. So, now we go for next difference. Next one, fourth difference. The variables and the methods of a class can be declared by using access specifiers. The access specifiers that are used in the class are first one is private, second one is default, third one is protected and fourth one is public. Okay, these access specifiers can be declared before the variable names or a method names. Whereas in the case of interface, all the variables or a data members and the methods of an interface can be declared by using the access specifier called only public. Okay, here the access specifiers used in the interface are only public before the data members and methods. Whereas in the case of class, we are using four access specifiers before the variable name or a method name that are private, default, protected and public. Okay, next one, fifth difference. Here, extends keyword, extends keyword is used to inherit a base class or a parent class. Okay, so to acquire the properties of the base class by the child class or a derived class, we have to use a keyword called as extends keyword. Okay, in the case of interface, Implements keyword is used by any class to inherit the properties of an interface. Okay, so interface to class, we have to use a keyword. The keyword is called as implements keyword. Okay, implements keyword is used to acquire the properties of an interface by any class. Okay, next one. Sixth point, classes does not support multiple inheritance. Okay, so this is the disadvantage of class. Classes does not support the multiple inheritance because of ambiguity problem. Okay, next one. Here, interfaces supports multiple inheritance. Okay, that ambiguity problem can be solved by the interfaces. So, because of the reason, interfaces supports multiple inheritance concept. Okay. Next one is a class 
cannot contain abstract methods. Okay, a class cannot contain abstract methods. A class compulsory contains only the concrete methods but does not contain abstract methods. Whereas in the case of interface, interface can contain only abstract methods. Okay, abstract methods means a method without any body of the statements. Okay, next one. Eighth point, a class can have a constructor to initialize the uh, data members or uh, variables. So for that purpose, we have to use the constructors in the case of class concept. Whereas in the case of interfaces, interfaces can never have a constructor because by default, all the data members of an interface can be declared and initialized. Because of that reason, there is no need to use the constructor in the case of an interface. Okay, next one, class contains only the concrete methods. So in the previous point, I am telling that classes does not have abstract methods, but classes can contain the concrete methods. Concrete methods means a method with a body of block of statements. So that is nothing but concrete method. Whereas in the case of interface, interface can contain only abstract methods. Abstract methods means a method name is there without any block body of block of statements. Okay. Next one. Tenth point. A class can be instantiated. That is, objects can be created for a class. Okay. For a class, we have to create an multiple objects. Okay. So, because of that reason, a class can be instantiated. Instantiated means we have to create the objects for a class to access the methods of a class. Whereas, in the case of interface, an interface can never be instantiated because so for that interface we cannot create the objects because interfaces can contain only abstract methods. So because of that reason we do not create an object for an interface. Okay. So these are the 10 points. Next we we'll go for 11th point. Next point, 11th point. In a class, we have to define concrete methods. That means a method contains a block of statements as a body. So to perform a specific operation. Okay. So that means to perform a specific operation in a class, we have to define methods. That methods are concrete methods not an abstract methods. Next one. Whereas in the case of interface, an interface can contain only abstract methods. That means method name is there, only method declaration is there, but it does not contain any body. Okay. Next one. Twelfth point. A class can implement any number of interfaces but it can extend only one class okay a class can implement any number of interfaces but a class can extend only one class suppose one derived class is there and one parent class is there so okay the derived class can acquire the properties from the base class or a parent class. For that one, we have to use extend keyword. Okay. A class can extend only one class. Okay. But a class can implement any number of interfaces. Okay. <laughs> this is the most important difference. Okay. Whereas in the case of an interface cannot implement any interface. Because interfaces contains only abstract methods, because of that reason, an interface cannot extend, can 
cannot implement any interface but an interface can extend any number of interfaces okay an interface can extend any number of interfaces but it cannot implement an any interface so this is the 12th point is most important okay a class can extend only one class okay but an interface can extend any number of interfaces yes. okay next one a class can implement any number of interfaces but an interface cannot implement an interface okay next now see the example for the class okay so here class is the keyword and class name is a sum so brace begin so these are the variable declaration that are the method declaration int a comma b comma c and this is the concrete method it contains the body of the statements okay void display so brace begin a equal to 10 b equal to 20 now c is equal to a plus b so 10 plus 20 that is 30 30 value can be assigned to the variable c System dot out dot println some value is equal to plus c. So c value can be printed as 30. Okay. Now this example of interface, interface keyword and interface name is hyd. So brace begin. It contains variable declaration and initialization. So here both declaration and initialization can be done. Okay, int a is equal to 10. So, int uh, variable a is declared as int and initialized with the value 10. Next, variable b is declared as int and it can be initialized with the value 20. Okay, it contains two methods. So, these methods are only abstract methods without any body. So, void show and void display so these are called the abstract methods by default these methods are called as public abstract methods by default these numbers are called as these data numbers are called as public static final data numbers okay so these are the 13 differences between class and interface it is one of the most important question that can be asked in interviews so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel in